Are you excited? <laughs> to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. This is sweet little Aubrey. And in today's video, we are going to be reviewing a Val Wix inflatable pool. Aubrey doesn't quite know exactly what's inside this box, so it'll be exciting to see what she thinks of it. So I'd like to thank Val Wix for sponsoring today's video. Again, they sent us this inflatable pool and it's a little gloomy outside and I don't know if you guys can see, but we are still having work done in our backyard. <sighs> Yeah, it's a gloomy day. So what we're going to do is we are going to review this in our house and then actually use the water version of it uh, somewhere else because right now it would just be a lot of mud in our backyard. But I do want to offer an alternative use for this thing. So it's kind of perfect that it, it works out this way. So let's go ahead and unopen this box and inflate it. So the box is pretty heavy, but it makes sense because this inflatable pool is pretty big. So there's a lot of, you know, material in here. Don't cut the air jump. I won't. It's not an air jump, sweetie. It's an inflatable pool. Okay, got a little plug here. Wow! <laughs> I love the web. Channel if you want to see a fun stuff. What do you guys think? Should I start a Aubrey only channel? All right, so we got the inflatable pool as well as this. Um, I'm assuming that this is where we hook it up to a hose to fill it up. It looks like this part right here is where we would attach the water hose. What is it going to be? No. I want to go swimming already. <laughs> I did tell her that we can incorporate water and maybe need our swimsuit with whatever I was opening, so. Yeah. Where's the swimsuit? Um, yeah, I, I just did the laundry. It's in the laundry. The only thing that I'm sad about is once I unroll this, I doubt that I'll be able to fold it up just as nicely as it comes. But, you know, that goes for almost everything that comes packaged. All right, so we got the instructions here. Yeah, so it looks like this is like a garden hose adapter thing. Want to take it out? Mm -hmm. It came with um, some repair patches, which is nice because if we are outside and, you know, someone brings a stick around and it ends up on there and, you know, makes a little hole, we'll be able to fix it. Mm -hmm. I love this thing. It's really warm here. It's really cold. <laughs> but if you do want to, whoa. Look, it's really big. I actually measured so it will fit in our little living space. Are you excited? I'm so excited. Why? And we got another little adapter thing here. This is a little penguin that apparently like squirts water out. So that'll be exciting when we do the water version. All right, so it says there's three rings, so we have to go from the bottom to the top, and I'm going to see if my balloon pump actually works for this. If not, I'm going to ask my mom to use her, um, like, inflatable bed pump, so we'll see how this works, because a lot of you moms out there might have purchased this for birthday parties or whatever, so if it works, all the better. super quick with getting the, the plug in, but it says to inflate like 90%. I don't think it's quite at 90% right now, but that's okay. I'll fix it later if we absolutely need it. All right, I'll show you guys a close-up of what this looks like as I'm using my little birthday balloon pump. All 
Okay, so here's what it looks like so far. That little penguin needs to be blown up. And then we got a little backrest. So the backrest is for this little seat here, which I will be probably using a whole bunch. And then what I'm gonna do today, since it is gloomy and we don't want a big muddy mess in the backyard, we're gonna actually put some balls in here and play in here today. Okay, so as you guys saw, I inflated it because uh, I was having a hard time putting in the plug originally. So I inflated it first without the plug altogether just to get some air in there. Then I put the black plug in, which allows me to inflate it and not lose air. And then they have like a little outer plug. So they actually have that same design for the outer rings. So I might just kind of touch them up right now. Now what we could do is hook up water here and the water will squirt out the front. Mm -hmm. So the water will squirt out here. But we got our little pool set up. Let's fill it with some balls. All right, so here are some balls that we had a long time ago and we just put them in our pack and play but I honestly think this will be more fun, especially when Jack gets older. So on another day, we visited some family and thought we would go for a little swim there. It was a little chilly this day and Aubrey was a little hesitant to get wet. We set up the penguin very easily by twisting on the hose to the red attachment and at nearly full blast, this penguin can spray everyone in the pool for sure. Or you can run the water at a much lower level for a fun little sprinkle. Like I said, Aubrey was hesitant to get really wet on this day but she eventually warmed up to it on another day at our house. Emptying the pool was really easily. You just pull the plug and the water comes out through the high strength PVC pipe. This pipe can be attached to a hose using the red attachment that we saw at the beginning of the video if you want to reuse the water to water plants around your yard or whatever. If your yard is sloped, I would recommend setting up the pool with this pipe at the lower end of the slope for easy drainage. A few days later, it was much warmer, and I thought I would see if Aubrey would enjoy playing in the water this time around. Since we still don't have grass, I thought I would use some of these foam mats that we had on hand to put on our new concrete to protect the pool from anything sharp. I also tossed in some of the balls that we used on the first day for Aubrey to play with in the pool. I had some help with Jack on this day, so I figured I would get in with her and have some fun one-on-one -on -one time with my sweet daughter. not fall down on your booty. You better not fall down on your booty. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually 
While we were having fun, Juan was breaking in our new bike path in the backyard. So here's a little sneak peek. We seriously can't wait to watch our kiddos use this path in the years to come. If you'd like to pick up one of these swimming pools for yourself, I will place the link to the product down below in the description box. Anyways, that wraps up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you guys are new. We would love to have you stick around and we'll catch you in the next one. <laughs> Woohoo! You've made it to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.